Hey everyone, this is Gary from Duck Cove Signs. We had a request to do a drop shadow from one of our subscribers, and we will be getting to that. But we partnered with our Renegade Dream Builder site, and ever since then, we have not been able to get videos up very easily for Duck Cove Signs. And on the coastline of Whitford, we were in Hurricane Irene helping businesses and help getting our own stuff straight. So, what I did was I put together a video that is the final installation for Revive the Roots. So let's listen to Zach while he explains the unique way that they chose to install the Revive the Roots sign. I'm Zach Murdoch, and I am uh, one of the members here of Revive the Roots. And uh, we had this sign donated to us, so we needed a way to put it up. So we were a little unsure of uh, how we should go about doing it, in case we had to move it or anything. And, we didn't want to put anything too permanent in, in case we had a change in mind as to where it should go. So, one of our great resources here is the cedars that were all dead standing up in our pine forest. So, I took a bunch of those, chopped them up with a chainsaw, just put together a uh, basic sturdy frame design, something pretty solid to hold the sign out there. And, uh, yeah, that's how it came to be. So, it's, it's movable on these two rails on the bottom here. So, if we decide to move it, we can basically just pull it around wherever we need to go, and, and then, uh, yeah, hopefully we've got a little awning or something up on top of it to get the sign around for, uh, protection. Exactly. And, uh, that's about it. That's all there is to it.